Hello, I'm Caleb Hyde, Senior Platform Developer at Alight Analytics. And today I want to talk about using provisioning scripts when creating an EC2 instance. So if we log into the AWS console, we go to the Elastic Cloud Compute page, EC2 here. And from this summary page on EC2, we're going to launch a new instance. This time I'm going to use an Ubuntu server. It's a standard quick start instance, but I'm going to choose Ubuntu. I'm going to take the default micro instance size, click Next, configure instance details. And on here, I want to scroll down to the bottom where it says additional details. Click this arrow so that expands. You may have to scroll down again. And in this user data field, we're going to put a bash script, an SSH script, which will be run automatically once the server is created. So I've got a small script here which logs that it's starting. It installs some additional tools, Git and Ansible, and then it logs that it's finished. So I'm going to take that short script, I'm going to paste it into this user data field, and then I'm going to go to review and launch, launch, I'm going to accept all the other defaults. I'm going to use the existing key that I already have created, acknowledge that I have the private key, and launch the instance. Now it takes you to this launch status page. If we click on the instance ID, you'll get back to the EC2 dashboard and the instances section. You'll see that it's pending. Now it may take a couple of minutes for the instance to go to a green ready state. Uh, and then once that's done, we can connect to it. All right, so once it's gone to the green running state, it will assign a public IP and public DNS. And we're going to use that to connect to this instance over SSH. I'm going to go to my terminal. I'm going to use the key that we previously created, which we selected at the end of EC2 creation, which was new sshkey.pem. And for an Ubuntu server, the username is Ubuntu. And here I'm going to paste in that public IP address, which it gave us on the summary page for the instance. So with that, I should be able to connect. The first time it wants me to confirm the key fingerprint, that's fine. And now we're logged into this running instance. Now, as I mentioned, we added a custom provisioning script. And now I want to I want to confirm that this script ran. So I'm going to look for this word provisioning, which we give at the beginning and the end. We log. That logging or logger statement goes to var log syslog. And so if we search for provisioning in that file, we'll see that both the starting and the finished statement executed. And so we know that our script is run successfully and everything in between executed. And we should find that, for instance, we have the git command available to us, which is not installed by default. And that's it. I'm going to disconnect, log out for the instance, and then for and then I'm going to go ahead and actually turn down, terminate this instance. And that's all there is to it. We've covered using custom code when creating an EC2 instance to put in additional configuration options. And there can be a lot of, there's a lot of options you can have there and a lot of fairly extensive setup that, that is all custom code and you can put in when creating the instance and every instance like it. Thanks a lot and that's all I've got.